two very popular genres that a lot of DJs play that are into these genres are bass house and hard style. They're both very intense genres. They're about getting the dance floor going crazy. So you're gonna to need to know how to transition between the two genres. Now in this method, it's trying to keep it super simple, but picking the right parts of songs to make the transition. If you play any of these genres, you'll know that a lot of bass house sits around your normal house BPM, such as 128 or 126 or even 130 BPM, usually is the case. Whereas hard style can be anything from 140 to 150 or even upwards 160 BPM, depending on how fast you're going with it. So there's a big jump to make upwards of 20 BPMs. Now that's not just a normal transition that you can always make. So we're going to take a look at how to perform that transition with two tracks here. First one, a bass house into a hard style tune. On the left hand side, we've got AC Slater and Kirby Navigator at its original speed of 128 BPM. On the right hand side, we've got Kashmir over and out at its original speed of 150 BPM. Now we couldn't mix these two together as is. So we need to take the Kashmir track down to 128 BPM. Now this is where you need to look on your controller or in your DJ software and figure out how to change the tempo range. Because if we go all the way down on the tempo adjust here, you'll see it only goes down to 138. And that's because we are on plus and minus 8%, which you can see here in Serato. Now Serato controllers will have a feature where you can hold shift and maybe press the pitch bend uh, minus button or it might actually be a dedicated button itself for pitch range. And once we click that, we can get to plus or minus 16. So as we go back down now, we can get all the way down to 126. Now, if the tracks that you've chosen, you still need to get further, you can change this range even further to 50%. So we can get a much bigger range. However, for this technique, I'm going to keep it on 100 and uh, on 16% faster and slower because I want as much control as possible. Now I can take it down to 128 BPM. We then have two options. We can mix this track as is from the start. Um, and you can keep it so that it is in the original key of the track when it's sped up to its original speed. But I really like for this technique to actually turn the key lock off. So in your DJ software, in, you'll need to find where key lock is. Now I've got pitch and time DJ for Serato, so this is my key lock here. Yours might be called master tempo if you're on record box, but once you've found key lock, if you turn it off, you'll hear the difference. Back on. Original pitch, lowering pitch. Now the reason why I like to turn this off, again, you might have a control on your controller here, shift and the plus pitch bend is key lock. The reason why I like to turn this off is that with hard style music, there's a lot of intense buildups with big synths, and sometimes it actually adds to this energy and it helps the listener and audience engage because they know that the track is speeding up and also pitching up, and it creates this really cool buildup. So I've got a hot cue set here. If you listen on the main buildup of this track, I've skipped out all of the vocal before because I don't want the vocal to play this bit here. Really slow and really long and drawn out and also at a lower pitch. So it's meant to sound like this. And much faster. So instead I've set a hot cue here. So you want the big synth lead sounds. And then you need to figure out how long you've got to make the transition with your tempo adjust. So if we were to count along, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three bars, four bars, five bars, six bars, seven bars, eight bars. And then it carries on building up, but there's some vocal that comes back in. So I'm making the decision that I've got eight bars to make the transition and I want it to be up to speed by that point. So then you've got to get your pacing right and speed it up. You don't want to speed it up too fast and then it doesn't really work across those eight bars. You've got to try and make your pacing work for the length of eight bars. Next thing is we've got to think about the actual mix. So I'm going to just use the start of the track here and mix it as I would mix any other track in a very standard way, just using some basic EQs. But then instead of letting it come to the breakdown here, I'm going to force it and go to that point. 
So there's going to be quite a few things going on here. I need to mix this track out, jump to this hot cue, and then start picking the pace up all within a few seconds. The last thing to notice is on this cashmere track, we've got this last bar, bum, bum, bum. And I'm going to get rid of track A, track one. So that's by itself. And then it gives me time to move across, hit my hot cue and speed up at the same time. So let's put all of this into practice. Are you either a DJ just getting started or a DJ looking to level up your skills? Well, did you know we've got online DJ courses and tons of tutorials to help you do just that? We cover everything from Serato to Rekordbox to Denon, as well as product specific and genre specific courses, as well as skill specific, such as scratching and transitions. Take out the guesswork with our step-by-step -step learning platform and iOS app, so you can access your content anytime, any place. Just check out wearecrossfader.co.uk. Let's get back to the video. This track's playing, I'm gonna go to the last drop. Get my headphones ready. Mix it as normal. I'm going to filter it in. Getting ready to mix out. Out. And pop cue. Now we're speeding up. Four, three, four, three, two, and back to the original BPM in the center at the zero position. Now, I always say remember to put key lock back on at this point just for when you come to your next mix, it's not still turned off. So, shift key lock back on, and we're all good. And now you're into your hard style, and you can mix a few hard style tunes in that way. Let's recap that, do it one last time. Down to 128 BPM. Key lock off, and let's go for the mix. And there you have it, a really quick and easy way to transition from bass house or future house up to hard style, making a huge jump in BPM and doing it confidently so it sounds seamless to the audience and it takes them on that journey. Key takeaway here is just to remember your process. You've got two hands, a little bit of preparation and just practice over and over with the same two tracks until you feel like you've got the method down and then have an experiment and I challenge you to try this with some other tracks and some some of your favorite pieces of music from both genres. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.